an electric field as well as a magnetic field. Initially they're not moving, but I'm going to turn on the electric field here and I'm actually going to put some uh, tree pollen, which you can hopefully see. Whoa, that's a bit much, but you get the picture. You see that they're rotating in a clockwise sense. So the question is now, what is happening here? Is it the positive ions that are causing this motion and carrying along the pollen? Or is it the negative ions, right? If I turn off the electric field, then there is no electric field, nothing is moving. This will come slowly to rest. As I turn on the electric field, the ions here will be accelerated in the electric field. As they start moving in the electric field, they feel the effect of the magnetic force, and that is what makes them rotate. So you have to see whether it's the positive or the negative ions, or both, that carry the pollen along in a clockwise direction. So take a minute to think about it, and then enter your votes using the PRS system. And no talking yet. Come up with your own answer. Okay, I still need uh, 10 to 20. I still need about 10 to 20 votes here. So please enter your answers. We have a disagreement clearly here. About a 50-50 split between two answers. I'll let you guess which ones. So turn to your neighbor and see if you can, and, and remember, finding one correct answer, for instance, the negative ions, doesn't mean that the positive is, neg is necessarily true. So you have to really try out both. Go ahead, check with your neighbor and see if you can agree. <laughs> current that way, that right? Way. A negative particle moving that way means the current yeah. same way. That way. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. interesting. So what does that mean about the force on that? Yeah. I cross B. Is it radiating? Does it mean it's radiating out? I cross B, so I is inward, right? B is into the plane of the drawing, right? So I to B. Wait, B is down, sorry, so I, and let's, let's look at the bottom, right? I is towards the center, up, right? 
and B is down, so the force at the bottom would be clockwise. Can you do that one more time? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're So on. positive <laughs> ions, the positive and the negative ions both have a current that goes inward, right? So let's look at the bottom of those two circles. The current goes up, right? Up. The magnetic field is into the plane of that drawing, right? Into the plane of that How screen. How are you doing your hand again? Sorry, current like, up, you're looking at that. Okay, magnetic so field up, magnetic into field. the screen. Okay. Okay. Force at the bottom towards the left. At the top, you know, we have current down, magnetic field still in, so we have a force towards the right. So, and the, the fact that the current is both up for negative and positive particle means they're both going to rotate clockwise. How can, how can, it, how can both particles be close? Shouldn't they be moving in opposite directions and the current's moving in opposite directions? It's kind of hard to visualize because it's three dimensional. But how do you know how to weigh the electrostatic and magnetic forces? Like, how do you know which one is greater? Well, you don't really need to know which one is greater because one is pointing in the X direction, the other one is pointing Direction. Direction. So you have to superimpose them to get the direction of the force, right? Half a minute left. See if you can come to some agreement. There's about 20 seconds left, so enter your answers. <laughs> Okay, well. Let's see. Okay, so we started with about a 50-50 distribution on choices one and two. And um, right now, we're at one-third for one, one-third for two, and one-third for three. <laughs> Clearly, we need to do some more, think some more thinking and talking about that. So I've started by making a drawing here, a top view of the bottom of what we see on the screen here. So that's the inner cylinder. This is the outer cylinder. Which way does the electric field point between those two cylinders? From plus to minus. So that means upwards at the bottom and you know slightly inwards on the sides. But it, we're going to concentrate on this area right here. So what about the magnetic field? Which way is it pointing here? The magnetic field, the North Pole is pointing toward you, so the fields come out of the magnet and then curl back in. So right here, they point into the board. 